a proton, a deuteron and an alpha particle having the same momentum enters in a region of uniform electric field between the parallel plates of a capacitor. The electric field is perpendicular to the initial path of the particles then the ratio of deflection suffered by them is. Question is, our three particles are one is proton, second one is deuteron and third one is alpha particle. Three of the three particles have same momentum and that is momentum of proton, ratio momentum of deuteron, ratio momentum of alpha particle. This value is one ratio, one ratio, one. Okay. Now question is, all the particles are moving along this path and do suffer or do face a perpendicular electric field between the plates of capacitor. In plates of capacitor, this is positive plate and this is negative plate. In ke beech mein electric field hai, which is perpendicular to the motion of particles. Hame batane ki, what is the ratio of deflection suffered by them? So we know deflection y is equal to charge of particle, electric field of particle, LD by mu square. Take care. Further, we can write this as QE, where Q is charge, is electric field. L and D are the setup dimensions. So, setup is the dimensions. Hai. And we can write this as P square by M. So, जो हमारी deflection होएगी that y is proportional to charge of particle, mass of particle and its square of momentum. So, because electric field E, L and D are same for all the three particles that is proton, alpha particle and deuteron. Further, displacement of proton ratio, displacement of deuteron ratio, displacement of yeah, deflection of alpha particle is equal to charge of alpha charge of proton into mass of proton divided by momentum of proton square ratio similarly charge on deuteron and mass of deuteron divided by momentum of deuteron square ratio charge on alpha particle mass of alpha particle divided by momentum of alpha particle square given that कि तीनों के तीनों particles का momentum same है, that is momentum of alpha particle is equal to momentum of neutron is equal to momentum of proton. So this implies this y p ratio y of t ratio y of alpha particle is equal to q p m p ratio q d m d ratio q of alpha particle and mass of alpha particle. Also, we know mass of proton, mass of deuteron, and mass of alpha particle. In ki ratio hai one ratio, two ratio, four. And similarly, we charge ki baat kare, Q of t. Sorry, Q of p ratio Q of t ratio Q of alpha particle is equal to one ratio, one ratio, two. Simply, if we multiply these quantities karenge, and ratio ko multiply karenge, we will get y of proton, y of deuteron, y of alpha particle is equal to 1 into 1, ratio 1 into 2, ratio 4 into 2. So, this will come out to be 1 ratio 2 ratio 8. So, as per option, option A is the right answer.